the ground of the forest is damp tonight. It's probably going to leave some marks on my overalls. So, tell me. You're not much of a people person now, are you? And I can't really bring you back to the human village in the middle of the night, so... This is going to be boring if we don't chat a little, you know? Ugh. Fine, fine. I'll be the one doing the talking. So, what made you think that going out of the village was a good idea in the first place? Don't you know that Yokai are roaming around at this hour? I see. You got into an argument with your family and they told you to leave, huh? I've been in that situation a couple of times as well. Though not with my family. I didn't really have enough time to appreciate them. But I still get into arguments with some other people here. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot that hunger could be an issue for normal people. What do I mean by normal people? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just mean people like you. As far as I know, Yokai are not considered normal people, are they? Here, let me cook something up. I hope you're not allergic to bamboo shoots. Because that's pretty much all there is around here. While I'm doing this, do you mind adding fuel to the fire? Actually, don't do that right now. We are going to need that bamboo for something else. I'm going to tie them together. Now we at least have a place to shelter us from the rain. It's small, but we should be able to fit in. Come over, don't stay in the rain. Phew. Talk about rain, it's not just a simple drizzle, but we should be fine now. Where were we again? Oh right, I was about to cook your little snack. So, let's roast those shoots. Considering how cold this is getting, I think it would be better if I made a broth to go along with them. I don't know if it will taste great, but this should appease your hunger. I just need to let it cook for a little bit more. And... There, it's ready. Enjoy your meal. What I'm doing in this forest, you say? Well, I live here, of course. What else were you expecting? You thought I lost myself in the bamboo forest like you? No, not at all. In fact, I usually guide people who wander around there. Huh? Is it dangerous? I mean, it's definitely not an easy task if you go around at night like we are doing right now. After all, dangerous yokai could be lurking behind anything. That's why I want to wait for daybreak before I bring you back. You're wondering about me? Why I'm not afraid of such things? <laughs> You're really caring towards others, aren't you? You know, you shouldn't be worrying so much. 
One day you're going to find out that life isn't as easy as you think it is. And that having friends will sometimes hinder you. Tell me, how many friends do you have over there at the human village? Strange. I thought you'd have less considering the fact that you went out of your way to get lost here. As for me, I don't really have many of them, or they are mostly temporary. Sometimes I stumble upon someone who needs to be guided to the end of the forest, so I show them the way until they get home, telling them to either go right or left after one of the bamboo that I marked. I usually don't see them afterwards, but... <sighs> That's pretty much all of the interaction I get out there. Do you really think staying out there seems cool? You do? You really are a strange one, you know that? I don't think I've met a person like you who wanted to stay here because they found this all great. Tell me, do you have any stories about yourself? It would be fun if you told me a bit more about you. Nothing, huh? Well, I guess it's only natural. You're not going to tell everything to a random person you happen to find in a forest, huh? That's fine. At any rate, the sun seems to be rising right now, and the rain has stopped. I believe we won't be needing this anymore then. Let me put the campfire out. Alright, are you ready to go back to the village? <laughs> Even if you're not, you better follow me if you don't want to get lost again. By the way, you should probably memorize the spots on the bamboo there if you want to come back here at some point. After all, I might not always be around. First hint, do you see that bamboo over there? This one has a star-shaped carving on the back. If you find it, then you must forcefully go left. Got it? Next stop at the second crossroad, take a look to the side. There should be a shishi odoshi there. Of course, if you can see it, then you'll probably hear it first. Its noise could probably scare off anyone who's unprepared. Anyway, if you see it to your left, then go straight. That will lead you to the last intersection. And this one is actually really simple. All you need to do to get out of there is take the last direction you haven't been in. In our case, we're going to turn right. Don't try to figure out how the forest in itself works. I don't even think I could tell you myself. And with that, I believe we are at the entrance of the forest. Seeing as though you were able to find your way here alone, I assume you're going to head back to the village by yourself as well. Just take care when getting back home, alright? Oh, and can I also ask you a favor? Can you deliver this letter to a person named Kane Kamishirasawa? I believe you know her already and... Well, I think I trust you enough now to be sure that this letter won't get lost somewhere. I'm counting on you, alright? Also, be sure to make up with your family. Even if you find me cool, I wouldn't want you to go wandering in the forest all the time. Anyway, I'll be taking another path now. So I hope to see you later somewhere else.